Hey everybody, it's Matthew Rathbun and welcome back to the channel. Um, this is a really fun video. I actually just learned how to do this. It was like, I gotta show everybody this. Uh, it's part of my Canvas series. And it also, this came about today as I was uh, putting together a lesson plan, an updated lesson plan on artificial intelligence for real estate agents. And I'm like, hey, this has to do with Canva, which I love, love, love. And this has to do with AI, which is amazing. We're gonna marry the two very quickly to show you how to create some bulk content for marketing content and graphics uh, in a very simple process. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we are here on our Canva page and in our Canva page, we're gonna start right here at the very top where it says doc. Now, one thing I will tell you, most of the features in this process, although quick and only a few steps, are Canva pro level features. They only exist if you pay for Canva. I do think, and this is not a sponsored video, but I do think every real estate agent should be using Canva as part of their toolkit every year. It is the quickest, easiest, and fastest way to create content. And it's so inexpensive. It's, it's almost silly not to have invested in it as part of your business. So, um, like I said, it, even if you don't have camera pro watch this video to see if it's even worth it at this level, I think it is. So here we go. We're going to start with a document and I'm like, Hey, you know, you got it. You have Google docs and you have word you're set. Canva has included the uh, the magic right element, which is basically an AI level thing. And whereas it does a tremendous number of things, I'm focusing on something very basic for this particular video, just because I want you to get the concept. You can go much, much deeper, give it much more detailed instructions than what I'm gonna give it. But I'm gonna ask it for five uh, quotes from Atomic Habits, one of my favorite book. Uh, and I'm just a book and it's going to go ahead and pull five random quotes. Now you could type the exact same thing and probably get different answers to your quotes. So here are the five quotes. Um, and I, these are great. I'm going to go ahead and click on those. They didn't repeat any, and I'm going to go copy those, copy those five lines. And now I'm going to go into Canva back to my homepage. And in this case, I'm going to create a social media asset. I want to create an Instagram post, a square Instagram post. So maybe I want to do a series of inspirational quotes from atomic habits. So I, um, you can see here, I've already pulled a template, but you can just go look through. Actually, we'll just do it now. We'll just use a different one. I'm going to go to quotes. So I've already chosen the size that I want and I want the Instagram square size. So I don't have to worry about that. And then it gives me a bunch of, um, this is a good one, uh, a bunch of, um, templates. So I'm going to go choose this template. Um, it is, uh, March here in Virginia and it is still absolutely freezing cold outside. So I, we didn't get any snow. I'd love to if we've gotten a little bit of snow. So I, I kind of have a thing for snow. So we're going to do this. I'm going to, um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do a little edit here and just put uh, my website, move this over here and I'm going to put in my logo. So again, I have my brand kit set up over here so I can just go to my logos, click it and then add it very quickly. And I'm going to put that down here again for that visual recognition of one logo. And I'm going to go ahead and edit here my font that over in my font kit here, I want my, I want consistent, uh, consistent fonts. I'm going to make this graphic a little bigger because these quotes are a little longer. And I'm also going to change the color here. Again, I've got my brand kit, so I have consistent colors. Make that a little, a little more modern. I'm going to click on this I'm going to click on this, make it white. All right. And so I'm going to center this there. Cool. Maybe make it just a little tad smaller here. And then I'm going to, I'm going to add another text box by hitting T and give some credit or give some credit where credit is due to the awesome author, uh, James clear. So I'm going to go ahead and line all that up and make it a little bit smaller as awesome as it is. 
still need him, the quotes to be more relevant than uh, that. All right, so now I'm going to do the real magic. Remember I copied and pasted, or I copied rather, the five quotes that was actually given, and you can do a lot more. You can do 20 steps to getting your home ready to sell in the spring market, and it would give you some really, really good content there. Um, I'm gonna go back here now, and I'm gonna find over here under apps, I'm gonna click on that and look for bulk create. Now, if you've used this before, it's already in your sidebar, so you don't have to go look for it. I'm gonna click on bulk create, and this button is gonna start a step-by-step, uh, -step, a three-step process, actually, to help me create multiple pages of this content. Um, and so I'm gonna go and enter the data manually. I can upload a CSV, and if you had, and again, this is like one step a little more, advanced if you had multiple columns in your spreadsheet and multiple rows you could actually have multiple fields being auto populated here uh, in your your um, graphic so i'm not going to do that i'm just going to do something easy i'm going to go to enter data manually i'm going to clear the data they have and i'm going to hit command v on the mac to copy and paste the five quotes or you can just right click and copy it or paste rather if you want to now there is one little trick it took me a minute to figure this out this bar up here is your uh title bar it is not populated into the uh graphic but it does have to be named in order for this process to work so make sure you give the column because if you have multiple columns you have multiple names so i'm going to give the column this quote or this name of quotes and then i'm going to hit done now my next step step two is gonna go over here to where my text is, and I'm gonna choose the three little dots that come up over top the text, these ellipses. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna to go to connect data. Now, uh, or data, depending on whether you're a Star Trek Next Generation fan. Anyways, when I click on, or hover over connect data, there would be multiple rows of, of names of titles for those columns had I had multiple columns to share. In this case, I only chose one column, so there's only one option, and I'm gonna click on that. And it changes in this bracketed area um, my quotes to be, um, uh, or to my uh, words to be just quotes. It doesn't matter what I had there before, the brackets tell me it's getting ready to do an operation. And I'm gonna center this in this background graphic or center of the graphic so that when it populates, it does center for me. And I'm, for me, I'm gonna make sure it's over here and it's center aligned just because I think it'll look better. And then I'm gonna hit the magic button, continue. It's gonna say, do you want all five of these quotes to be created? Yes, I wanna generate five pages of graphics. And then boom, there they are. Now I have to realign these because I screwed that part up, but you can see here um, that, and that's, probably not gonna be a bad thing just to touch these up a little bit. If I had lined them up better or chosen a different font uh, or smaller, uh, chosen uh, to reduce the size of the font, they probably would've lined up perfectly. But this is a uh, only a couple of seconds to go and do this. That was a really long one. Um, so now I have five graphics to share. Uh, on my social media and there's consistency. So my logo is there, the color's there, um, the, the content is there and everything else. Now, these, this was good for training, just in case anybody's wondering. I would do much better than this. Now I'm not liking really the color, but you, you get the picture, you get the steps. Um, I'd probably fix some of this up, maybe change that yellow background, but that's it, that's your step. And now you can just go to share and you can do one of two things. You can download them all and manually share them or dun, 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 I can share on social or I can schedule. So I'm gonna go here uh, and click on more and then go down here to schedule. And if you are again, a pro version, I can schedule the graphics. And so I wanna go tomorrow, uh, the 15th and I'm gonna hit next. And I want this to actually go um, at, I don't know, 3 p.m., 3.39 p.m. I'm gonna click on next and it says do I want all five. I don't want all five, I just want one. And it asked me a channel and I'm gonna choose, um, well, probably not Twitter. I'm gonna choose Instagram because I created it for Instagram. There's my Instagram account. And then I can put a quote in there if I wanted to or a link or a CTA or something like that. And I'm just gonna hit schedule. Now I'm not gonna hit schedule because it'll go live. And I can do that for each one of the five or I can bulk do that over a period of days, but that's it. That's, you know, again, it took longer to explain than it ever would to do once you get the hang of it. It just took about five minutes of your time to build five graphics for five days worth of content. 
boom, you're welcome. Thanks so much for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you will, and visit my webpage at matthewrathman.com for more information, more tips, tools there, and my newsletter. Thanks so much.